I, I'm here today to share with you some insights, some tools, and some talking points that will help you get a better handle on your network, and more specifically, a uh, better handle on your endpoint security. Marshall McLuhan once said, our age of anxiety is, in great part, the result of trying to do today's jobs with yesterday's tools. Well, what he said sums up what I'm going to be talking about today. It's securing endpoints the right way using the right tools. So let's get rolling. So let me talk briefly about what I'm going to cover. I'm going to go over some endpoint security issues that I see a lot in my work performing security assessments, um, some issues that you may not have thought about. I'm going to talk about some misconceptions and uh, oversights related to endpoint security some uh, security uh, do's and don'ts regarding uh, technical uh, issues as well as operational issues. And then I'm going to be talking about the pillars of endpoint security, uh, vulnerability management, data protection, and compliance. So I I'm going to show you that uh, securing your endpoints is not a one-time deal, but rather part of a larger strategy for you know, improving service, um, lowering costs, and minimizing business risks. So why should you even care about this? Why does this stuff even matter? Well, you can't go into this blindly, first of all. You, you've got to get in and, and understand the nuances and, and be able to, to focus on uh, pulling together a consistent approach. Secondly, all of these point solutions that we've been using over the years, you know, piling one vendor's product on top of another, well, they can often be a disservice. They can actually uh, just do uh, more harm than good, and uh, they, they often just fix the symptoms. They don't really address the underlying issues. And finally, endpoints are where the money is, you know, and, and a lot of endpoints are mobile. So, uh, you know, there's they're simply just too much to lose. The reality is you don't have to look very far to realize there's a big problem with endpoint security. Well, there's a lot happening on our very own networks uh, that we often don't know about. You know, we, we often fall into the trap of uh, this false sense of security, uh, assuming that all's well in IT land, you know, as long as the basics are in place. But that's not always the case. So what I've listed here on this slide is essentially some things that I see quite often. Um, you know, people say, we don't have anything a hacker would want. You know, we're just a manufacturing company or we're just a small business. We don't have any sensitive information. Nobody's going to want to come after us. Um, other people say, well, we have this proactive network admin. He does a great job, stays current with all the latest trends, uh, reads up on all the latest tips and articles and things like that. So he's got everything under control. People also say, we use good security technologies. They say, we've got a firewall, we've got antivirus, and we've got encryption. And that's all that's needed, right? People say, well, we've hardened our servers. That's where the stuff is. That's where all of our important data is. And Therefore, we've, uh, we, we don't need to focus on anything else. Uh, here's another one that I really like. Uh, people say, well, and especially managers, they say, we have a policy against that. Yeah, right. You have a policy against it. It's on paper. Nobody knows about it, and nobody's actually enforcing it. Other people say, well, we perform these annual checklist audits. You know, we bring in uh, the, this this person, they, they come in, they, they really know what they're doing. They can read off this checklist and they can go down, uh, do you use passwords? Yes, check. Do you use uh, uh, antivirus? Yes, check. Have you installed the latest patches? Yes, check. And they assume that that's all that's needed. And then finally, they say, well, we're compliant, therefore we're secure, uh, which is not always the case. Some other things that I've seen uh, related to, to, to this whole misconception uh, and, and, and uh, miscommunication issue related to information security is that management's trusting that all's well. You know, again, they've got that network admin uh, in, in place. He's using the right technologies. We have a policy against it. Management has better things to do to run the business, and they don't want to bother with all this IT and technical security stuff. Another issue is not really knowing what's at risk. You know, we, we've got this uh, information scattered about all over the network uh, on, on literally every laptop, every desktop, server, database, you name it. Uh, and, and we really haven't taken the time to understand what there is to lose and what the threats and vulnerabilities are. There's also this general assumption that if an attack does occur, 
that compromises are going to be highly visible. That, you know, all of a sudden these alarms are going to start going off. Uh, we're going to start getting flooded with emails. Our network's going to go down, things like that. That's not always the case. Another issue is overlooking what the bad guys are doing, not understanding their mindset, their tools, their techniques. And then depending on users, end users, regular employees within the organization to protect and respond. Another issue is believing that security tools are the answer and conversely uh, hoping that security policies are the answer. Again, you can't have one or the other. It's got to be a good mixture of both and that's what I'm going to be talking about. Waiting for a better time to address these issues. You know, well, we don't really have it in the budget right now. It's not really uh, something we want to focus on. It's not a high priority. We're going to do it next year, maybe next quarter. Maybe we'll hire, bring somebody in next month. And then finally, one of the, the uh, uh, grave mistakes is assuming that secure now equals secure always, which is hardly ever the case. And, and with these nine points here, I actually call them the uh, nine deadly sins of security. And they actually map pretty nicely to what we're talking about today with endpoint security. And all this stuff is brought on by busy and distracted IT and security staff and just general ignorance on the part of management and users that don't have uh, a whole lot of buy-in into this, in, in, into this security issue. And uh, in my work performing security assessments, I often come across you know, siloed and inconsistent security approaches when it comes to this. And you know, I see multiple teams responsible for security. You've got one, one team uh, saying that, yeah, we're secure. Uh, you've got another manager over here saying, yeah, we're secure, we're compliant. But the thing is, nobody's talking to each other, so nobody really knows if the business overall is secure. It's like people are just going through the motions just to uh, earn their paychecks, just to, to get through the day, and they're not thinking about the uh, big picture and the, what's best for the business long term.